Hi everyone, Leslie Keith, Certified Lymphedema Therapist. Um, I specialize in nutrition and um, obesity and lymphatic and fat disorders. I've been treating these kinds of disorders for about 20 years and today I want to talk to you about some groundbreaking research that has just come out. It's published online ahead of being in print. I wanted to share this with you. So here is the research. This was done by a group at several different universities. The, the name that a lot of us know on here is Dr. Stanley Roxon at Stanford University, but there are several other uh, big names in lymphatic research that are also part of this study. So this is the platelet factor four is a biomarker for lymphatic promoted disorders. And this will, could potentially change how lymphatic disorders are identified and could assist in their um, early diagnosis and getting treatment as soon as necessary and the proper treatments. It is particularly good because this study actually was able to di differentiate between lipedema, lymphedema, and obesity and to show that there was a lymphatic component to lipedema, which um, before that's been um, in discussion whether or not there is actually an edema component to lipedema. So let me tell you a little about this study first. They did both animal studies and human studies. And in the animals, they used animals that had uh, lymphedema and they used, uh, it was all on mice. So they induced lymphedema in the tail. And they also used mice that um, were just normal wild type mice, nothing going on and, and some that had obesity. And so then they were able to isolate this particular exosome or a, it's a material that's exuded from uh, cells and um, it, it gives an indication of what's inside the cells. And so they found that a lot of these cells, when they were coming from an animal that had a lymphatic disorder, it had elevated levels of this platelet factor four or PF4. And um, so, then they also did this on humans, and they did um, humans that had um, lipedema without any obvious pitting edema. Um, they did um, people who had obesity, and they also did people who had an obviously diagnosed, palpable, clinically diagnosed um, lymphedema. And what they found was elevated PF4 in women with lipedema, in women with lymphedema, but if they had obesity without any edema, it, the elevated levels of PF4 were not there. So let me tell you about what the implications of the study are, because it, it is, um, I think, going to have widespread implications. One is that for a long time, lipedema has been not considered a valid diagnosis. So many women feel that, oh, I, I just, I'm overweight, I'm obese. Their doctors also feel that that's what the case is, but they, if you were to have this um, blood test and find elevated levels of PF4, we know that it's differentiated from obesity, that it is a bona fide diagnosis that needs to have treatment. Not only that, as I was saying before, there has been some discussion and disagreement in the um, lymphatic and fat disorder field, whether or not there's an edema component to lipedema, and this because there's elevated levels of a, a biomarker that indicates um, uh, lymphatic disruption, that it appears there is indeed a, a lymphatic component to lipedema. This also validates that we have traditionally been providing manual lymph drainage or a gentle massage to facilitate the evacuation of lymphatic fluid from um, a limb that has lipedema. And this validates that that is indeed something that's useful, not only for to help lymphatic function, but also to break down fibrosis, decrease pain, and that none of the things that are happening um, that might be happening with that patient. So it does help guide treatment in that way. But then let's even just look at someone who has lymphedema. Um, what are the implications for that person? And when we look at someone who has, for instance, they've just had breast cancer treatment, they finished their chemo and their radiation, they're recovering, but their arm on the side of the breast that had the cancer, their arm on that side doesn't look strange. It doesn't look like there's swelling, but it feels strange. It feels heavy. It feels like there's pressure. It has a little dull ache. Um, and 
they don't know, well, do I have lymphedema? It doesn't look like anything's happening. Well, now you could get a blood test that would say that, yes, we have elevated levels of PF4, and so you indeed have already signs of lymphedema, even though we can't see it or palpate it. Go ahead and get treatment, and as we know, early intervention is going to be the best. So this is really going to help those people with, um, that are ACE, um, asymptomatic in that we can't measure it, we can't palpate it, we can't feel it, but they feel like something's happening. This is going to help um, make sure that, that they're directed to the proper treatment and it's covered by their uh, insurance and their payers. So I, I just know there's a lot of people out there that have been delayed in proper treatment because they're not getting diagnosed with lipedema, they're not getting diagnosed with a lymphatic disorder, and so they may go months or years without the proper treatment. And so if we can diagnose this in a timely fashion, we can get them into treatment um, right away. Can you get the blood test? Well, right now, apparently it's not available, we're pushing for it, but it will be a simple blood test. And so what you want to do is get that identified platelet factor four. So you can get that test Eventually, we hope there's something you'll be able to request that you want to get tested for, for PF4, and um, this can be an identifying factor that your physician can use to say, yes, you do have a bona fide um, lymphatic um, disorder, and we need to send you off for treatment. And of course, we know that the best thing you can do for yourself while you're waiting to get the proper treatment is to eat correctly to eat the proper human diet, to feed your lymphatic system, and that is going to be with the ketogenic diet. Eating your a very low carbohydrate, less than 20 grams of carbs uh, total, and eating plenty of healthy fats, and this includes animal sources of fat, saturated fat, is gonna be the best thing for your lymphatic system. So consider looking into a, an animal sourced diet uh, using a ketogenic lifestyle. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to talking to you again.